Hi everybody, Colleen here with Colleen Beauty and Fashion. Welcome to this video, which is a special request. So I am so excited because this is the first special request I've done on my channel. And it comes from a subscriber and she has requested that I do a tutorial on for hooded eyes. So as you all know, if you've been watching my channel, you've seen me do my eyeshadow before. And I have pointed out that I do have small hooded eyes so let me show you see right here i have to look in my mirror see that right there that's my hood and you can tell just by looking that my eyes are small so i want to thank the subscriber you know who you are i'm not going to say your name in case you think that would be invading your privacy but i'm going to do the small hooded eye tutorial today by special request and i'm going to use Two different techniques and two different makeup palettes so stay tuned that's all coming up so i am an amateur i am in no way a makeup artist but i have been watching a lot of the youtube videos and like a lot of women my age where we seem to be willing to embrace coming back to makeup again so that was certainly my case and when i came back on youtube the first thing i did was start watching tutorials on eyeshadow and how to deal with your hooded eyes which is what i have as i mentioned before so i've seen quite a few of them and although i'm not a professional i'm a very willing to learn amateur and i'm very willing to share with you what i've learned and you can see if it works for you these techniques apply even if you don't have hooded eyes because there's one basic theory to it and that's this light colors come forward dark colors recede so the whole principle of it is, if you have something that you want to make go backwards or kind of disappear, put a dark co darker color on it. So that's what we're going to do with our little hood. I don't want to poke myself in the eye. But in order to make this less pronounced, we're going to put a darker color on it. Now, not the darkest color, a darker color. So I'm going to do one look that's a little less complicated, more every day, but does employ the technique of having the darker color recede the hood. And then I'm going to do a more full on, more different color, kind of smoky eye glamorous look for the second one. So here we go with look number one. So just before we start, I want to mention something that has been a real game changer for me. And that is the purchase of some proper brushes for my small hooded eyes. And I bought mine from BK Beauty. And I've mentioned them on my channel before. Here they are. So this was a set I bought. Last time I checked, it was on sale. I'll check and see if it's on sale. I will definitely put a link down for you in the box. And just not to stray off the topic too far, but just so you know, when there's links in my description box or any YouTuber's description box and it says affiliate, that means I earn a small commission if you shop through those links. It doesn't cost you any more. It comes from the company or the brand, but it is really helpful if you shop through our links and help support our channels that way. So just something to think about. Okay, so these ones I've really, really been using like every time I do my eyeshadow now because they're suited for small hooded eyes. The collection is called that. So there's all these different ones. And I'll point out which each one does to you as we go along. But the one thing I did want to show you is the size difference. So can you see? Before I bought my small hooded eye brushes, I was using this one for the transition shape. And you can see how much bigger it is than this one. So the thing these brushes do is they allow you to have more control. So even if you purchase them one at a time, be mindful when you purchase your eyeshadow brushes, if you have small hooded eyes, be mindful of the size of the brushes you're buying, okay? That's my first tip. Okay, so both of these looks are gonna start off with the same thing, and that's a transition shade. It's called a transition shade. And it's gonna go right in your crease and a little bit up onto your hood. So right in this area. Now, I have as promised, two different eyeshadow palettes. I have the Essence Nothing Compares to Nude, which I'm going to use for the first look. And then I have the Natasha Denona palette. It's the mini glam palette. Now, I want you to have a look. 
Some people say these two are dupes for each other. Can't say I argue with that. Look how close they are. I'll hold, there, I'll hold them both up. So you can see that the Essence one actually has one extra shade, but other than that, they're pretty darn close. So here's what I would say from my experience. I actually love the Essence eyeshadow palettes. I've done many videos on them and you can look in, there's a playlist for them, I think. So I really do enjoy them and I am a big fan of this particular palette. Nothing compares to Nude. However, when I bought the Natasha Denona palette, I was testing out to see if I really needed to, you know, go into a luxury eyeshadow palette or if I could just get by with something like this. And I have to say, in all honesty, these are so much easier to work with. And I didn't know before I tried. So I've been using this one a lot every day, really. It's my go-to. And this one has kind of taken a back seat, but I still love it. And I think if you're happy with this formula and you think this works for you, this is a great value. I think these are $3.99 and they are really great eyeshadows. So I leave it up to you, this or this. Either way, the technique is going to be the same. And they really are so close in colors and shades. So we're going to get started with look number one. And it's only going to involve two colors. So. The first color is going to be the transition shade. Now, keep in mind our lesson, dark colors recede, right? So you have to pick something for your transition shade that is darker than your the skin color of your eyelid. That's the key. It doesn't have to be a lot darker. It doesn't have to be black. But it has to be darker than your skin color. Otherwise, this trick doesn't work. So this one you can see is darker than my eye shade, not much, but it is darker. So I can use this one as my transition shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm taking, this is a transition brush. This is the BK Beauty, hang on, I need to get the number. I have to get my glasses. 202, I call it the transition brush. So here we go. Just tap a little bit off and then go right into your crease. Mine is very pronounced. It shouldn't be difficult to find it. What you want to make sure is you're getting color on here. Not all the way up. Be mindful. Just enough up to make that little hoodie part recede a little bit. Oh, and I should have mentioned too that you should use, I think you should use an eyeshadow primer. This is the one I've been using. It's the Urban Decay. Um, let me get you the right name. And it will be linked as well. I think this one works really well. It's the Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is the original color. It comes in all kinds of colors, but this one is the original. I really think that an eyeshadow primer makes your eyeshadow last longer. So back to our transitioning. Just a little windshield wiper motion to start off with and then just I like to just kind of you know push it in on my hood there push it in okay so that's your color first color we're gonna do two well I'm a big believer that you need something sparkly right over the iris right over the center of your eye because that brings everything in and lifts everything up so anything sparkly and light is going to have, as our rule states, it's going to bring things forward, right? Because it's light colored and it's reflecting light in this case. So it brings things forward and up. So I'm going to use this shade right here. And I'm going to just use my finger and put it on my whole eyelid. There's one eyelid. And there's the second eyelid. Now, that's it. Two colors. That's all you need to do for the eyeshadow. And I am going to say to you, I would do one more little thing if you want to, and that's the eyeliner. 
you have three options. You can use an eyeliner pencil, you can use shadow from the palettes you've been working with, or you can use an eyeliner pen. I've done all three, depending on what look I'm going for. For this simple summertime daytime look, I would use either shadow or a pen pencil. In this case, I'm going to use a pencil. Here we go. We're going to do our eyeliner. This is a gel line eye pencil from Love Plus Craft Plus Beauty. I got it in an Ipsy bag, but uh, I'm not sure if I can find it, but if I can, I'll put a link for you. But what I like about it is the color. It's nice and light for the summer. Can you see it's just kind of a coppery color? It goes really well with this eyeshadow palette. So as with all eyeliners, just take it slow and to keep, because I have small eyes, to keep my eyes open as wide as possible, I'm just going to do the outer edge of my eye. The outer maybe half to a third, depending on how you're feeling. You can judge it for yourself, but I'm just going to do the outer and that prevents us from closing up our eyes and making them seem smaller. A great mirror is critical in this too. Um, I have a fancy mirror that I bought on Amazon. I'll put the link down for you. What I really like about it is it has this pop-off magnifying part that helps me do my eye makeup. So that's really handy to have. If you're like me and you're wearing glasses now, or at least cheap drugstore magnifying eyeglasses, which is what I wear. <laughs> that's why I have them in all the different colors. It really helps to have this close-up mirror to be able to do this eyeliner. So there, if you can see, sometimes you have to pull your eyelid. There's just no two ways about it. So if you can see, it's very subtle, but it does help to define your eyelid a little bit. So there we go. That's look number one. I'm not going to put on mascara and eyebrows and under eyes for this one. I'll show that to you in the next one. I'll do the full on finish everything with the deeper, more dramatic look. Um, but this is very basic, but I think very pretty and two colors. Just remember transition shade darker than your skin in your crease and a little bit on your hood. Okay. So that's real easy. Look number one. I took all my eye makeup off from the first look and now we're going to dive into the second look and we're going to use the Natasha Denona palette and I am going to put my primer on so you can see this one has a little doe foot and you just kind of I just tap it on and then I blend it around And as I mentioned before, I think this really helps to keep your eyeshadow on. It certainly does for me all day long at the office. So you have to let it dry a little bit. So remember that. Now, again, we start with a transition shade. And for this one, for sure, I'm going to use this, right? This color right here. They probably have actual names if you want them. Let me see if I can find it on the back here. It is Seed is the color I'm going to use as my transition shade. So pretty close to what I used in the e.l.f. palette, maybe a little deeper. And I'm using the transition brush again, the number 202. So here we go again in the crease. Right. You can see this one is a little bit darker. Just in the crease back and forth. And a little bit on your hood and over on the other side same thing there we go step number one so for step number two we're going to use this brush which is a shader brush and it is number 203 from BK Beauty. And we're going to use a lid color now. So this needs to be a medium color. It can be a shimmer if you want. 
Um, I'm going to use a shimmer this time. I'm going to use this color right here to sweep over the whole lid. So here we go. This is a really, really pretty color from this palette that I use quite often as a one and done on the weekends when I don't want to do much makeup and stuff like that. It's a really great, great shade for one and done. So there we go. There's that color on. So you can see we have the two now. We have one on the lid and one in the crease and just kind of touching up onto our hood. Okay. Okay, so now here is where the fun begins. This is when we get into the deeper colors. Don't be afraid. It's okay. <laughs> We're going to take a deep shade. I'm going to use this one, and I'm using this brush, which I call a tapping brush. But the, its purpose is to tap the color onto the edge of your eye. This is the number 207. And you can see it's just a very, very round brush. It's not for sweeping, it's for tapping. So you take a little bit of your color, your deep color, and remember, this is our glamorous eye look, so don't be afraid, okay? We're going for it. And you just take it and you start tapping it in to the corner here. And you go a little way up on your hood, okay? And the idea is not to go past where your eyebrow ends. So have this imaginary line, okay? You don't want color to go past there. If it does, don't freak out. We will fix it in the end. That's what our under eye concealer is gonna help us do. So as we go through this process, you're gonna go, oh my God, what a mess. But you'll see in the end that it really does work, okay? So again, your little tapping brush and your dark color just tap it in place on the corner. Up onto your little hoodie part. Okay, can you see there? The main idea here is to try and get them even. Same amount of depth of color on both sides. Because you are going to blend it. Okay, so there you have it on both sides, okay? So now what I do is I take my blending brush, this one. The transition brush, I should mention, is also the blending brush. So you take it again, and you're going to take this color, the deep one that you just put on, and you're going to push it in. Everything goes in and up. We never go out and down, okay? We want lift, lift from everything. We're fighting gravity here. <laughs> So we need lift. So you take your brush and just kind of blend it in. Okay? Don't be afraid of moving the color around a little bit. You're not going to take it off. These are very highly pigmented shadows. So don't worry about that. Okay? And you can always go back in at the end and blend it again if you're not happy with it. Okay? So... Now we're going to move on to the shimmer shade. So as I mentioned before, I like a shimmer pop in the middle of the eyelid to make everything kind of, you know, again, focus in and up, in and up. So I'm going to take the same color I did before for this effect, but this time just in the middle, just in the middle, okay? So just in the middle of your eye, so just a little tap and a little tap there. Okay, so you can see. And then again, you can go back and blend. And again, if you find that, you know, you've brought one up too high, just kind of smudge it out. Play with it until you're happy. It's only makeup. Now, you could end it here and put some mascara on and put your eyebrows on and your under eye concealer and be done with it. What I'm going to do is, because I'm doing this as kind of an example of a night look, is I'm going to use my eyeshadow and this cute little eensy-weensy brush. 
Isn't it the cutest? So this is the BK Beauty 208. I just love this little brush. And it's been a real game changer for me in using shadow as liner. I was really not doing well with it before I had this brush, but now. So you take your little teensy, teensy brush and you go in, you can go into the darkest color to do your eyelid. And you will get fallout from this, so don't worry about that. And again, not too far out and not down, okay? And then you can do underneath as well. This brush makes it super easy to get in close. And if you want to keep your eyes open, opened up, only do half. This is a smoking brush. So you can take this one, and this is the number... 204. Okay, you take this brush and what you do with it is you can smoke out the liner. So just soften the line a little bit. But what do you think of that effect? Like, I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to do it on the other side. Honestly, it's not the skill level. <laughs> it's the right tools and the right product that you're comfortable with. Honest to God, I swear that's the only thing you need. I am not skilled. I am not an artist. I cannot draw a straight line. But I can play with makeup and have fun. And if I have the right tools, I'm always pretty happy with the results. So just my opinion, take it for what it's worth. There we go. And then I'm gonna smoke this one out, just like I did the other one. There we go. Now I'm going to show you the finishing because the finishing part is really important too, okay? In order to look younger and more youthful, I believe, I had to find it, <laughs> you need eyebrows. At our age, most of us are having some kind of issue with our eyebrows. Mine is that my tails are disappearing. So I take my eyebrow pencil, in this case it's the NYX, and I'll link it below. This color is a little dark, but completely happy with it. I need to buy a new one and try something new, but we'll use this for now. Then we put some mascara on. Right now I'm using the Essence Lash Princess. It's got kind of a nice curve to it, you can see. And I think this is a great value for mascara. Honestly, these Essence mascaras are really great for a drugstore brand. So if you're looking for a new mascara, give this one a shot. I always need two coats. So there's the first coat of mascara. Last but not least, I mentioned how we can correct everything at the end with our concealer. So we're gonna do that now. This is the one I've been using the most lately. It's almost empty. But this is the uh, Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken 24 Hour 5-in-1 Concealer. Mine is the shade 002. And it has this little spongy applicator. So what I will say to you is be careful with this. A lot of product comes out at once. You can see it's kind of messy. It, that is one bad thing about it, but it's a great under eye concealer and it stays in place and it doesn't give you huge creases or make your eyes look older than they looked when you started, which can happen with a lot of concealers. So I've just recently found several that I like. It took a long time. You take your little spongy and you go in. Now, I wanted to show you in the corner here. This is how you're going to correct and lift up again. Okay, so if you've had any mess in the corner here, if you've dragged it out too far, this is your chance to correct it. So you go in with your sponge and you make sure you point and get that line right where you want it. Okay. 
So right there where you want it. I also mentioned in my review of this concealer, I think it's really helping my poochies. I have poochies here. We call them poochies. Um, I think it's really brought them down. And I think it's the caffeine in these. So I'm going to look for some skincare. Haven't done it yet. I said that a while ago and I still haven't done it. Okay, so there we go. Now this is quite a dramatic eye look. What I would do is take my lipstick down a little bit. Let's see if I have something that'll do that. Maybe this, let's see. Because I wore quite a bright lipstick today and you know, the eyes and the lips a little bit much. So maybe just soften that color a little bit. I, this is just a Burt's Bees. I think the color is guava. Yeah. And it's just a really light, really light frosty pink shade. So it'll kind of neutralize color a little bit. But it does make them frosty. So. so there we go. Now these glasses definitely don't go. Maybe these ones do better. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. Um, that is my look. And I think, you know, when you wear glasses, you got to check it out with your glasses on too. Mine are incredibly dirty. Um, so that's the second look, the more glamorous look. You could glam it up even more if you wanted, depending on the amount of shimmer and sparkle and color you use. But that's the basics. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. And share it with your friends. And if you poke around on my channel and you like the content, I do both fashion and makeup. I do fashion on when, oh, no, that's wrong. I do fashion on Fridays and Sundays. And I do makeup on Wednesdays and skincare. So if you're poking around and you like what you see, please subscribe. That would be great. We're getting lots of subscribers lately. So it's been a lot of fun to watch my little channel grow and include all of you in the community. So this is Miss Bonnie. She always helps me say goodbye at the end. And she always looks so nonchalant, looking around, la di da You gonna say bye-bye to the people? Let's go. Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye, people. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye now.